Hi, welcome back to Sugar Bloom Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to colour isomalt to make a coloured isomalt sugar shoe cake topper. Firstly, I have melted in the microwave some isomalt nibs. I've added one or two pearlized nibs to create a glittering effect. When melting isomalt, melt in short bursts of 30 seconds at a time to avoid burning or overcooking your isomalt. To add your colored gel of choice, you must wait until the bubbles have subsided, otherwise you risk the possibility of being splattered by the hot isomalt. It's best to use a small amount of color as you could always add more. Ensure you have greased your moulds with a little cooking oil. This ensures that your ice mould, when releasing it, comes out easily. Do you need this mould to make this sugar shoe? Go to the link in the descriptions below to order your own mould. I place my heel mould in the freezer for about 30 to 40 minutes to harden, but you can put it in the fridge, it will just take longer to harden. I've used two little cupcake moulds to make small portions of coloured isomalt. When the leftover isomalt hardens, it's easy to remove or to reheat to use it again. Don't forget to use baking paper to cover your foam former for your shoe, just so your isomalt shoe doesn't stick. When removing the isomalt from your silicone mould, it can be a matter of trial and error. If it doesn't work the first time, you can always remelt the isomalt and start again. To shape the sole, toe strap and heel straps, the isomalt, when released from the mould, needs to be still warm and pliable, otherwise it will crack while you're shaping it. You can attach the heel to the sole with some melted isomalt, but my heel is a bit sticky after just coming out of the freezer, so both the heel and sole stick easily together. Have fun with the colours you use. I really enjoyed mixing different colours for each of the different shoe pieces I used. To make the ankle strap, I've made one about 12 centimetres long. You will need to use melted isomalt to attach it and hold it in place until hardened. Sometimes you may need to use extra melted isomalt to attach your shoe pieces. It really depends on the weather. In cold climates, your isomalt will harden quicker. In warmer climates, I find the isomalt remains sticky and the pieces stick together.
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on how to make a coloured eyes malt sugar shoot. Please share your creations via our Facebook page or email us pics of your shoes. We would love to see your creations. You may like to check out our other videos on how to make a chocolate shoe using our silica mould or perhaps try our toffee sugar shoe. You can buy the mould via the link in the descriptions below. Thanks.